Hello everybody and welcome back to Amity Bloom. Today I'm going to be creating an altered book for myself, a glue book of my favorite French pieces. I wanted to create some digital kits that mimicked that French style that I love so much, but also give them a sense of functionality by turning them into a journal kit. So you get the cover and you get the journal pages. I am of course going to be using them to cover up an altered book, also using the coordinating ephemera to then create pockets within my altered book and put photographs on the tags and even on the backs. I absolutely adore all of my antique books and I wanted to specifically transform a beautiful French cover that I had that was essentially falling apart and I wanted to imagine what the journal kit would look like. And I also wanted to create some mini versions for those of you who want to use these kits as a notebook or to create smaller journals. These are the little mini covers and the little mini pages and of course it comes with the coordinating ephemera pieces. And you also have a pocketbook version and a little mini book with the blue cover as well. So both covers have a standard version of the kit and a mini version of the kit. And these are in my Etsy shop for those of you who want to have your own beautiful French cover and journaling kit. We're going to turn this book into something absolutely beautiful using the digital kit and it's going to be extremely easy and also functional. You want to make sure that the edges of your altered book match the color of the image or the paper or the digital kit that you're going to be using. So we're going to be using some paint to cover the corners and match them to our front cover. This is some blue chalk paint from the brand Craft Smart, and it's in the color Blue Dusk. But you can use any type of paint that matches the color of the front cover that you're trying to put onto your altered book. And I think this color matches it pretty well. I'm only focusing the paint on the corners as these are the parts that are going to be visible. I just finished painting all of the edges, leaving the middle bare, as we're going to be covering that up anyways. Now that my book cover has officially dried, I'm going to add some fabric on the spine. Add your fabric on the front, drag it over the spine. Make sure that your fabric is nice and applied. So this is the front cover. The spine and the back cover and now our book is looking kind of ugly so we need to add the front cover so you can see how easy it is to bring together the cover the spine and the back cover of an altered book using your own fabrics and beautiful papers add our front cover perfect oh my gosh what a transformation <gasps> this looks so beautiful and you want to repeat the same step on the back and this is pretty easy since both my front cover and back cover match up perfectly. And now our back cover has been applied and matches equally to our front cover. And when you open the book up, you can see both covers match perfectly and they have their beautiful fabric right on the spine. It looks like a beautiful antique French book and we completely transformed the original book that we had into this beautiful new cover. This is one of my little tiny French books from the 1800s. It's the cutest little thing. As you can see, the cover is in pretty good condition, some scratches. The back has seen better days. So I love using these little books as inspiration to create my version of them once I have altered them and added some flowers to them as I think all book deserves some beautiful flowers on the cover. But you can definitely play around with this or any other digitals or papers that you have and use them to mimic old vintage books. Now that you have the covers finished, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out some of my pages from my altered book. You can pull apart five pages and keep one, or you can pull apart 10 pages and keep one, depending on how big your book is. So definitely just see the ratio of pages that you'd like so that you have enough pages to collage to work on without making your book chunky and difficult to work with. Now that I have removed a good amount of pages from the book, I'm going to be using the inside journal pages of the green digital kit as well as the blue one. Cutting apart the pages in half and then gluing them and covering up the book text with some of our beautiful sheets from that journaling kit. For the decorations for my altered book, I am going to be treating it as a regular book. 
when you open up the first page, I want to have a really beautiful book page and a title page, an introduction page, add a cute little label, say this book belongs to. These two pages are going to be my table of contents. So I want to have fun with it and treat it like a real book since the book cover mimics an antique book. Your altered book can be composed of the actual book pages or your own papers or a collection of snippets that you might already have. I have journaling cards, antique papers, scraps. Obviously my theme is French, so I'm choosing a lot of my antique French ephemera. They're little snippets. Postcards, as I love turning these into pockets. As you can see, I'm sticking with a blue theme as it matches the cover. Some beautiful magazine pages. These are some really old book pages from a French book that I just fell in love with. I love that illustration. And then of course, I'm going to be creating little mini notebooks to go inside of my altered book using other elements from the digital kit so that I can create other journaling areas in my altered book. These are some examples of the magazine pages that I want to put into my book. Pictures and images that have that French feel to them that make me happy, that inspire me. A piece like this, I would cut it to size so that it would fit into my book. This is an image from a French magazine that I have. I love just the centerpiece of this beautiful tablescape. Use your journaling cards and your actual vintage ephemera and combine it with your magazine pages. Have little snippets of embossed paper or paper scraps. Use your special pieces. This beautiful lace paper that I've had that I can't bring myself to use, but I can use a little snippet of it on the edges of my pages. Real antique documents that you can use to add more character and layering to your pages. Postcards, stitching them on top of pages to create pockets that you can then include your antique ephemera in so that you don't have to permanently glue your precious treasures onto your book. You can create tuck spots and pockets right inside of your altered book. Make sure that you stitch your pockets beforehand and then glue them right on top of your book pages. So this is just an example of all of the possibilities that you can create with a glue book. You can go with whatever color palette you have in mind. You can even use fabrics and laces. This is some beautiful Victorian lace that I have that I love using little pieces of it, but imagine creating a pocket to go into my altered book. And then you can have those elements peeking through the bottom or the sides of your altered book. When you're filling up your altered book, and depending on the theme, the style, the purpose of your book, use up images that make you happy. An altered book gives you the possibility to express yourself through paper, through fabric, through snippets. I really love altered books because it cuts down the process of thinking about how you're going to create a journal and instead you have more time to think about how you're going to actually decorate and use the book. It simplifies the journaling process and it's a great way to start out if you're in a little creative funk, if you don't know what you want to create. I want to share with you some examples of another altered book that I created and a journal that I use as if it's an altered book. So this is my bullet journal that I created out of an old book. I have a video on how I created this. All of my pages are filled up with different pieces of paper, different elements of my life that I decided to glue down in that moment in time. And of course I use this as a planner to plan out what I wanted to do and my ideas. What I loved about this book is the ability to add whatever you wanted. It makes the process more enjoyable somehow. This is a journal that's not an altered book, but I treat it like an altered book because I essentially glue on top of the existing pages pieces of my digitals and also magazine images that I love. I love putting these beautiful images into books, either a journal that's already made or a book that I transformed simply with paper and I fill it up with my special things. So I hope that this video made it seem easy to create an altered book using just paper, fabric, whatever you have on hand. Definitely enhance your cover by painting it. The basic thing that you need is a book, something to cover it up with, some glue, and just rip and tear some pages out and start gluing what you want. I really hope that this video was helpful for those of you who want to start creating your own altered books. I will definitely be back in a couple of weeks probably to share with you how I'm using my altered book, what kind of pages and compositions I end up creating. I think this is going to be a really fun project to do at the end of every day. Until next time, I hope that you have a beautiful day wherever you are. Wishing you so much peace and so much love. And of course, I will talk to you very soon.